Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm going to take time today to show you how I made my Kool Aid Man. So let's get cracking. So, friends, it started with typing Kool Aid Man images. When these popped up, I looked around and found the one I thought I wanted to play with. I chose this one right here and then I took a screen cap of it. Now I do all my screen caps with snipping tool, simply hit new, and then I came over here and I did this. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to bring it into Pixlr. When you get to Pixlr, I'm gonna do create new. I'm gonna just do the art grid 10 by 10, hit create, control V and paste it in. Now when I did this, I only used one of these, but I'm gonna be smarter today and make it so I have several parts so we can make this even cooler. So the first thing I'm gonna do is cut out the blue. I'm gonna use magic cutout, I'm going to remove, and I want all the blue gone. Notice there were two chunks of it. Then I'm gonna erase this outside edge. I can click and get rid of those real easily. And then this little line, I'm gonna get with the eraser. Now I always shut off the softness, maybe make the size a little bigger, and then just go around to select it. Now I'm gonna use the crop tool to bring this down to the correct size of the shape. And let me show you how this turns out. We'll just hit apply, and we need to save this. It's gonna be a PNG. I'm gonna put it in my downloads. I'm gonna put it as Kool-Aid Man 1. And we're gonna go to a second website. This is gonna be called picksvg.com. When you go to picksvg.com, you upload a picture. There is my Kool-Aid Man. And it instantly turns it into the outline of your shape. Now you can pick other sizes, so we can check and see which one we like better. I don't like edge three, don't really want edge four. Uh, you can check eternal, but I want it to be edge two, just like they chose. That's pretty crisp. Mm, let's see edge one. That's better because there aren't the little bumps in the middle. And I'll show you why that matters in a second. So now we're gonna hit download SVG. I'm going to put that back in my downloads. This will be Kool-Aid Man 1. And I'm going to save it. Let's return to Tinkercad. Let's create a brand new design. Just so I don't lose it, let's name it Kool-Aid Man. So friends, now we simply go over to Import, Choose File, grab that Kool-Aid Man. We only want the art, and then I'm going to change the size. I don't want 200 millimeters because that's huge. I'm going to make it 50% scale, and I do want to remember that for the rest of the project. I'll use that on the next few pieces I do as well. Now you just have to wait patiently as Tinkercad interprets that SVG. Whenever you're bringing in an SVG, if it doesn't turn out the exact way you thought it was, that's because Tinkercad could not interpret what you had. Friends, there is my little Kool-Aid man. Wait till you see how I added the inside. We're just going to do Control D. I'll make this one the red. And then, friends, instead of using the default, change it to Silhouette. And boom, we have got the inside of our Kool-Aid man. I shrunk that down. I made the other one white. And that was my strategy. How cool is that? Now friends, I've got a tiny upgrade for you. If you wanna make this even cooler, watch this. So make sure that you delete any layers that you have here. For some reason I had two. Now I'm gonna do Control V and repaste the image. Friends, this time I'm gonna use AI Cutout to just get the black pieces. So we're gonna to switch to the cutout and we're gonna to switch to keep and we're gonna turn off something called contiguous. This means that when I click on one of these black pieces and I'm gonna bump the tolerance to 45. So when I click one piece of the eye or mouth, it grabs all of them. Now there are little lines around here. So we're gonna use that same erase trick, making sure we're on remove. I've got my softness shut off and I'm keeping the parts I care about, which are the mouth, nose, and all those parts, I'm erasing everything else. 
Now I want these to be really dark, so we've got one more awesome trick. We're gonna go to draw, we're gonna pick the color black, and then we're just gonna paint those by touching all of that area, and then boom, you have got the sweet cutout. We're going to hit save. Once again, it has to be a PNG. I'm gonna name it Cam Eyes, and I'm gonna hit save. Of course, friends, the next step is pick XVG. We're gonna import those cam eyes. Double check that they look the way we want. You can check your other edges to see if maybe you like them better. When you find the one you want, simply hit download SVG. Let's name them as they are. You can see I've already done this once. I'm just gonna do it again quick. And boom, we return to Tinkercad and do that import one more time. This time we are doing it with the cam eyes. Art, once again, 50% and import. When they arrive, of course, we wanna make them black and then we're gonna do one more cool thing to get rid of the eyes on the original, back up to our photo editor. Once again, friends, we need to delete this layer. You can just click delete or you could use the hamburger bar and then we're gonna do control V to paste in our original image. We are gonna go back and redo this, but we're gonna change the face so that it doesn't show up. We're gonna go back to Magic Cutout. We're gonna turn on the contiguous again. And then we're just gonna remove the blue and the blue and the white, 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 white. And the reason we don't do that is because the white would get erased on our Kool-Aid Man, which would be a problem. Zoom in so you can see this better. Let's do that eraser. And just go around and get it. If you ever make a mistake, don't forget you can do undo. That's why usually I click so that I don't mess up. And then I wanna paint all of this the red. So I'm gonna to go to draw and I'm going to pick the color. So if I pick brush tool, color, check it out, there's an eyedropper. I want that color right there everywhere. So I'm just painting that in to cover up those old eyes. Friends, that's it. If we do save, PNG. This will be Kool-Aid Man 3. Return to pick SVG. Scroll up and find that upload. Find Cam 3. Check him out. That is perfect. And download that SVG. Once again, change the name to Cam 3. Return to Tinkercad put that work plane back down on the ground and let's import that new piece. Cam 3, art, 50%, import, and wait patiently. All right, friends, there it is. I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna make it white. I'm gonna take the red one and delete it. I'm gonna take the old white one and delete it. I'm gonna move that into place. As you can see, that's pretty darn cool. Control D, and I'm gonna take the second one, and I'm gonna make it silhouette, and I'm gonna make it red. Let's push it down so it's lower, and that is a pretty darn fun Kool-Aid man. So there you have it, friends. Fun skills for messing with images, turning them into an SVG, and then bringing them into Tinkercad and manipulating to make what you want. Friends, remember, if you ever make something awesome using this skill or any skill I've given you, I would love to see what you created, and it's so easy for you to do it. If you click on this button right here, you can generate a link, and you can copy that link, and then you can reach out and find me. I am HL Mod Tech on Facebook, Instagram, Gmail, and TikTok. You can also find me on Twitter. I am HL Tinkercad. If those options are not available to you, don't forget you can also visit my website, hlmodtech.com. I've got a page dedicated to Tinkercad with a ton of amazing lessons. And then also down at the bottom, there is a sweet built-in message tool. You can click that button, add your information, paste a share link, question or comment, and reach me almost instantly. Friends, I do also want to highlight the Tinkercad Community Discord. It is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. 
friends, while you're out here, take a moment to click on the designer showcase. It is where we have the designer directory so you can follow your favorite Tinkercad users. When you click on their profiles, friends, when they first load, they are sorted by likes. I highly recommend you switch to sorted by latest so you can see the newest things users are working on. Friends, if you find one you think is cool, make sure you click on it and give them a reaction. And of course, I hope you had a ton of fun with this. And if you did enjoy this lesson, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.